Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is going to be for Aries. Aries, how are you today? All right, Aries, we're gonna get into your reading and see what's going on with you and your person when it comes to a relationship, okay? When it comes to separation, when it comes to the person that's just on your mind, all right? So let's get into it, you guys. If it does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. You can also go over to my Instagram as well and support the cause. As soon as we hit that 5k mark on the Instagram, I'll definitely start these free personal readings over there for you live. Okay, everything should be in the bio. Aries, please. Aries. Ooh, <laughs> these cards don't want to get out. <laughs> get out of the deck. Let's see. Aries, what you don't see coming is a five of cups in reverse. Funny, I just did a Leo um, reading and they had the five of cups in the upright. So somebody is really thinking about regret here. Something that they have done, they walked away from something or treated someone disrespectfully and they really feel like, you know what, they should have not done that. Um, they should have, you know, stick with this person and now they're just wondering like, is it too late here? So let's see what's going on on um, Aries. We have the Hermit. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords here. The Nine of Pentacles. The Chariot. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Wow. Let's see what we have. Hmm. I feel like someone is on their own journey right now, honestly. Like, I'm feeling like you're on your own journey here. We have Virgo, um, you know, energy coming through, very wise, feel very knowledgeable, you know, feel like they can, you know, guide others, teach others. <laughs> but I feel like this is the energy that I'm feeling, you know, trying to find out what's out there for you, taking your time, and honestly, just, you know, figuring out how you appreciate your own energy around you without anyone being in your space. Not that you are alone in life, but you just want to be alone in this moment. And you do have people that care about you, but for now, you're just valuing yourself, right? So with you doing this, I definitely feel a shift happening here where someone could be coming after you or chasing after you. This person is a, you know, it's not like they're, they're, they're still growing up. Let's just say that they're still growing up. They're not a grown, they could be a little immature here, but definitely they're living in the moment and they're taking charge. So I'm feeling like this person could be in a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy rushing after you. Um, not that they understand your emotions, it's just that in the moment they are thinking about this five of cups here that they have done, okay? And they're just like, okay, I need to make things right. I feel like it's morally about, you know, trying to, you know, feel better about what they have done within themselves because they lied to you. You know, they made you feel like this with the Eight of Swords here. You were feeling stuck. You were feeling blinded. You didn't know the facts about this person. You feel like you didn't know them at all. And you were just trying to find out the truth here and this person kept you in the dark, okay? I also feel like, you know, you had a lot of things around you, a lot of things that people might know and you don't. And you're just like in the middle of these swords, all right? And you're just like, you're trying to go left, you can't. You're trying to go right, you can't. You're trying to move forward, you can't. You're trying to move backwards, you can't. Because these swords are blocking your way, and then you—that's all you feel around you because you don't—you don't have the facts, right? You don't have—you don't have the sight to like move forward and know that you know these swords. No swords are in front of you, but all on your, all around you, right? The way I should have said all around, because look, there's no swords in front of you, so clearly you can move forward, but you just can't move backwards, sideways you know, and left to right, whatever, left to right, back. Okay, Chabon, let's get back into it. <laughs> All right, we have the nine of, you know, pentacles. I feel like this will be short lived. You know, you will be single here very soon and happy and financially stable. I feel like this person is coming back, you know, um, they do have a lot of affections 
for you in the chariot they know what direction they want to take um when they see you actually moving on this is like a trigger this is what i'm getting like you're moving on you're the, the sun is shining on you you look so beautiful you got money coming in you're financially stable and here we have this you know this person coming towards you cancer vibes here you know emotions full of emotions a little bit of manipulation okay because i love cancer but they could be manipulative if they want to they swear they know everything and this might be why you guys bump heads a lot okay um with that quality in their chart but we also have the knight of wands and then we have the three of pentacles oh my god i'm feeling like a lot of passion here between you and this person this person you know, the communication is not great, but you know, I feel like they're coming towards you. They have a lot of confidence. I'm seeing confidence here, very slow um, with, with how they proceed with things, especially how they value things. But I feel like looking at you, they really, really value you. So let's see really what's going on here with the bottom of swatches. Because other than lies here, um, the angels are being very discreet because you're getting anxiety, the eight of wands and the queen of pentacles. Ooh, so this is a twin flame um, soulmate connection here coming through. Yes. OK, so you feel like this person is just holding back, like they're holding back something from you. They're lying to you. They're not telling you the truth. Um, you know, I'm getting like you are feeling like when it comes to moving forward in a real relationship, it's just moving very slowly. But the truth is, you know, this person and I saw the justice here. Yeah, they're being very unfair to you. And you feel like you want the truth from this person and this person is not giving it to you. But they're coming towards you with their love, their affection that they have for you. I'm seeing kisses and hugs here. I'm seeing you might get lost and stay with this situation because you just want the facts but again you're not making any moves to leave them okay you're not making any moves to leave them you know sometimes you feel like you're pissed you walk away you take your time you know and then you come back you're ready to talk again you know this person doesn't want to let you go either because they feel like you're so good for them but both of you are protecting yourself, your mental state here. Like this person is holding back, you're holding back. And it could be from this relationship, but also from, you know, past relationships that they're bringing into this connection. Okay. So if you haven't done the healing from a past trauma of a relationship not working out and thinking, oh my God, well, it didn't work out. I didn't get hurt, but you feel some kind of way, right? So you need to take your time and heal before jumping into another situation. A lot of us, you know, with this lonely card here, let me just explain something to you. You know, I'm glad I saw this because this doesn't mean that you're jumping into relationships and relationships. This means that you're taking time out for yourself. You're trying to find out what's out there for you, taking that journey, taking that path, okay? With the unknown, you know, you're on a cliff with this light, you know, shining you know, on the valley, anything is possible. You're looking at villages. You're looking at things that people, you can see people, but they cannot see you. Okay. You can see what is, what's in front of you, but no one is really seeing you. They're thinking it's a star up there on the damn hill. Okay. So, um, you're trying to be discreet and you're trying to be not secretive. It could be, but you're just like trying to be in your own element right now. So I feel like that is taking responsibility of a lot of things that is happening to you. You're taking a time for yourself. But this relationship is an up and down relationship. And I feel like what you're missing here is a form of communication. Because if you guys are afraid to talk about things that does not feel right, if you are afraid to talk about things that doesn't feel right in this connection, then you're not going to go anywhere. You're just not going to go anywhere. And you're feeling blinded. You want the facts. Be straight. Be straight because, you know, because of that, I see single. I see this person is always lingering around you, lingering around you. This is someone probably from work or school, someone that, you know, you are probably in business together, something about learning. Like they value, you know, what you're about. And they're saying they learned a lot from you. So... Yeah, we have this energy of wanting to be around you, but both of you are holding back. Like one is just in work and one is in their money. 
in their bag. This is a twin flame connection right here. Very unfair um, connection here. Someone is just not being fear to someone, you know, not giving them the justice or the clarity, holding back their feelings. And, you know, I this car fell in my lap, but it fell in the upright. I don't know if it was in reverse or not, but I'm just going to say what I see right now. It's like this person is always trying to protect and hide, you know, hide things from you and, and saying that they're protecting you. But these wands represents people that's trying to get in or behind this person. And I feel like this person is trying to stand up for themselves and block the way. But, you know, they can only, only do this for so long, you know, because I feel like this person is like, everyone is out to get me. And, you know, the truth is being held back here. And this is what this is. So when this falls apart, you will get the clarity. You know, it's just when. When would the energy shift? And this is what I see, Aries. I hope this re resonates for you. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.